from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jameson Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Florida Fish and Wildlife agents say red tide is likely to blame for a massive fish kill around Snell Island in St. Pete. Residents woke up to thousands of dead fish floating in the water behind their homes. FWC says patches of the toxic algae have been causing fish kills around Tampa Bay for the past week. They're encouraging people to report fish kills so scientists can sample the water in that area and determine the cause. You can also track red tide conditions at our local beaches by going to abcactionnews.com slash red tide. The city of Tampa is bringing back boom by the bay for the 4th of July this year. The whole thing kicks off with a boat parade at 5 p.m. on Sunday. Fireworks will go off at dusk. You can watch from six different spots, including Curtis Hickson Park, Armature Works and Bayshore Boulevard. The mayor said today this is a great way for our community to come together. While Hurricane Elsa's impact to us here in the Tampa Bay area is still unknown, it's a great reminder to make sure you have a plan in place and a first aid kit or a hurricane kit ready for this storm season. It's always a good idea to find out what evacuation zone you're in if you don't already know. Some counties in our area are opening sandbag locations starting on Saturday morning. You can find a list of resources, hurricane kit supplies, and sandbag and shelter locations right now at abcactionnews.com slash hurricane. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. How you doing, everybody? Holiday weekend is here Saturday. We're going to be looking at a lot of clouds and rain off and on. Maybe not a washout, but still more clouds than sun and definitely some raindrops. Maybe some improvements later on. The fourth, I think, looks better. We'll still see morning showers, but I think the bulk of the rain pushes inland later on in the day. So that should be pretty good news for the fireworks across the area on Sunday night. Elsa, winds of 85 miles an hour, and now the models are beginning to come into some decent agreement, keeping it to the west-northwest, eventually crossing Cuba and making it somewhere in the eastern Gulf on Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Whether it's this side or this side, too early to tell, but I think it's safe to say at least part of Florida, whether it's the Panhandle or closer to our area, we'll see tropical storm conditions on Tuesday and into Wednesday. The exact track still very much in question. Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. Rain chances remain pretty solid on Saturday, a little lower on the 4th, and then obviously whatever happens with Elsa will bump up those chances on Tuesday.